What's up everybody, this is Lyle with No Hippie Barbecue, and I've been checking out another YouTube channel called The Hardcore Gardener, and he basically has a badass garden, has a lot of stuff in there, and I saw he had a big like pumpkin type squash in one of his baskets, and I was like trying to think, you know, what could I do with something like that? So I did a little bit of research, and I came up with a recipe that you could use on a squash like this one, this one happens to be a kabacha. You could use it with acorn or hell, you know them little pumpkins that you waste your money on around Halloween? You could rock this recipe on that as well. Anyway, I'd like to thank the Hardcore Gardener for putting this in my head. I'm going to leave a link to his YouTube channel in the description. Now come on in and take a look at how I'm going to rock this. It's perfect for me to empty my freezer and refrigerator with. Anyway, we're starting off with this kabacha squash. Basically, I I cooked this in the oven for about 30 minutes at 275 just to get it soft enough to pull off the top. So I pulled off the top and hollowed out the inside. Now I have a mixture and this mixture could be whatever meat you want. I happen to have uh, a mixture of half ground beef and half sausage, both of which needed to go. I'm going to go ahead and add an egg to that. Some bell pepper that I had laying around, garlic that needed to go, rosemary didn't need, and I have some onions. Now, typically, if you were gonna make like a, you know, if you were gonna be making a like a meatloaf, you would want to cook these vegetables down first because you're not gonna have a good, uh, you're not. You know, it's going to make your meat break up if there's vegetables that are uncooked in there. Since this is going to be cooked in this uh, squash, we're not going to have to worry about that. So right now I'm going to go ahead and mix this stuff up and it will be mixed up better than this. Uh, this is a little thyme that I'm adding. Or should I say a lot of thyme? I really want that flavor. I'm going to be going with a little cumin as well. And some... A little bit of salt and you could add whatever ingredients that you guys want to this I'm just trying to put this idea in your head so next time you're at the store you might want to come up with kind of your own recipe on this so I'm gonna go ahead and finish incorporating this well and we'll be back in a few moments well I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with some rice now you could add as much rice or as little rice as you want to that so I'm going to start off with that and just kind of mix it in with my hands. You know what, that is starting to look, you know, let me just add a little bit more. All right, so that's it. It's that simple. Uh, let's go ahead and get this thing stuffed now. And dang, I might have wanted to get two of these. But I'm going to stuff it in there pretty good. And you know what? I'm going to make meatballs with whatever is left over. All right, there we go, that's that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this in the oven at about, you know, I'm gonna go at 350 and I'm gonna check it in 45 minutes just to see. It's probably gonna go a little bit longer than that. This is a little thick. So anyway, next time you see us, this is gonna be coming out of the oven and this is gonna be time to see if this was a good idea or not. I've been in the oven for about 40 minutes. I have no idea how this is gonna taste. But it looks incredible. And I had some cheese that was just sitting in the refrigerator. So you know what? Let me just throw some of this cheese on here. It looks like it's pretty much done. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, turn the oven off. My oven holds heat really well. So I'm just going to throw this on there. See how that rolls. Anyway, I do have these. Uh, you know what? I will know what it tastes like here in a minute. These look like they're done. I'm going to go ahead and try one of these now. Man, that's good. Anyway, I'm going to throw that back in the oven. And um, 
Oh my god. I'm gonna throw that back in the oven and uh, just let it chill out. And uh, now, next time you see me, it's gonna be time for me to see what's up with that. This is what the finished product looks like. We have a couple of these meatballs over there so we're gonna pull this back and uh, see if this uh, tastes as good as I think it does this just came out of the oven a while back I let it cool off for about 30 minutes just to make sure you know it wasn't too hot and uh, now it's time for us to get to our taste test but before that Mason mm. you've been macking on any girls at school oh my goodness no not yet no he's not macking because he's not listening to my pickup lines Anyway, hopefully he's listening to my cooking more than this. he's listening to my pickup lines. But let's go ahead and dig in. Just going to give you a little taste right there. Don't hold up. I'm waiting. I'm just getting ready. Alright, so now it's time to dig in. Here, first of all, try that meatball. Mmm, okay. that's very good. But anyway, now we're getting down to this stuffed squash. Now I got a little bit of this squash. Make sure I get some of this meat in here. That's good to go. Anyway, this recipe wasn't necessarily meant to be a follow-it recipe. It was more meant to kind of give you an idea of something that you can make if you have a squash or something like that laying around. So use your own ingredients, do what you want to do, but definitely try something along these lines. Appreciate you stopping by No Hippie Barbecue. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.